I'm loading up Pro Tools, loading up Pro Tools 10. Um, I have 11, but you know, 10 would be just as well. Uh, the showcase sidechain compression. Now, what is sidechain compression? Sidechain compression is when you have two events, and the first event is pushing down the audio uh, signal for, of the second event for some length of time. Now, in this case, event one is going to be a kick drum pushing down an 808 signal um, for the length of the kick drum so that you can hear the kick before the 808 uh, comes back to the forefront. Now, the session that I'm going to utilize today is going to be for the ringtone blue tarantula, which if you haven't picked up, you definitely need to because it's it's uh, just a buck. It's one dollar uh, daily daily ringtone download, and it's going to a good cause. Um, e music events, which is going to bring industry professionals into cities that wouldn't normally see A and R or have. Um, the ability to showcase their, their music um, in front of industry professionals like myself or uh, any number of people that work for the industry. So um, uh, definitely, definitely pick that track up for one dollar off of 2bmusicpro.com. Uh, also, this is a tutorial based off of Trevor's work, uh, who's an engineer who worked on Starships with Nicki Minaj, and this is the session. see uh, all the MIDI data and I'm going to open up Machine 2 and if you haven't picked that up definitely do so because it's one heck of, a, of an update that the guys at Native Instruments came up with and it is my go-to sidechain compressor for my drum groups. What I'm going to do is showcase number one that the kick drum does not have anything happening in terms of it having to send a signal out to a bus or anything like that. All of this is internal inside of Machine 2, inside of Native Instruments, uh, VST Instrument. And notice that when I go to AUX, it is not sending out to any channels. Okay, now, when I go to 808 though, and I click on that sound, you're going to see that, hold on one second, you're going to see that um, it has a compressor and stay away drum, get out of that. So it has a compressor and it has a sidechain input already built into the compressor, which is really slick. I've got sound 5 coming into that compressor. So that kick is going and feeding into that compressor. And that's the signal is pushing down the 808. Notice it's on 75, I can't put it on uh, 1, which is representative of pushing the 808 completely out of the way. I didn't like that sound, I liked it right around 75%. Um, the next thing that I wanted to show you guys is Trevor didn't really have to do a lot. I mean, not all sidechain compressors act alike. So you have to find one that you're comfortable with and that does the job. Now the thing to keep in mind here is that that sidechain is pushing it, it down a very small amount of time. Notice that that says approximately 0 0.10 seconds. See that? Not 500 milliseconds. 10 milliseconds is really what it's pushing down. So, actually pushing out about 100 milliseconds. I apologize. So that um, 0.10 seconds is 100 milliseconds. It's pushing now that 808, and then it's getting out of the way for you to hear the sustain of the 808. So that sidechain compression on a kick drum. Uh, coupled with an 808 and that's what gives you the punch portion of an 808 signal where you can really create your own 808s. I mean, 
the possibilities are endless when you start putting different kicks together with an 808 signal. So that is side chain compression. And you've heard it on uh, Mickey Starships. You hear it on Blue Tarantula in uh, today's ringtone, $1.